explicit memory and implicit memory are two distinct types of long-term memory that serve different purposes in how we store and recall information. Explicit memory, also known as declarative memory, involves conscious thought and the intentional recollection of facts or events. On the other hand, implicit memory, also called non-declarative memory, operates without conscious awareness and often involves learned skills or habits. These two forms of memory work together to allow us to navigate the world, but they function in unique ways and involve different areas of the brain. Explicit memory refers to the type of memory we use when we actively try to remember information. It can be divided into two subcategories, semantic memory and episodic memory. Semantic memory includes general knowledge, like knowing the capital of a country or the definition of a word. Episodic memory, in contrast, involves personal experiences and specific events like remembering what you did on your last birthday. Now let's look at an example of explicit memory. Imagine a student studying for a history test. When they recall the dates of major events like the start of World War II, they are using explicit memory. This kind of memory requires focus and effort because it involves retrieving specific pieces of information from the past. Implicit memory is the type of memory that operates without the need for conscious thought. This kind of memory is often demonstrated through procedural skills, habits or conditioned responses. Unlike explicit memory, it is not tied to a deliberate effort to recall. Instead, it is automatic and unconscious. One common example of implicit memory is riding a bicycle. When a person gets on a bike after years of not practising, they can typically ride it without having to think about how to balance or pedal. This ability comes from implicit memory, which stores motor skills learned through repetition. Similarly, implicit memory is at work when a person ties their shoes or types on a keyboard without consciously thinking about the steps involved. In addition to explicit, and implicit memory, there are other types of memory that play significant roles in how we process and store information. One of these is sensory memory, which holds information from our senses for a very brief time, often just a fraction of a second. Sensory memory allows us to experience the world as a continuous flow rather than as disconnected moments. Another type is short-term memory, also known as working memory, which temporarily holds information that we are actively using or processing. For example, when solving a math problem in your head, you rely on your short-term memory to keep track of the numbers and operations. Lastly, long-term memory encompasses both explicit and implicit memory, but also includes emotional memory, which stores information about feelings tied to specific events. For instance, smelling a particular scent might bring back strong emotions linked to a childhood memory. Each of these memory types interacts to create a complex system that supports learning, decision-making and personal identity.